Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's had them a good day today. It's turned off beautiful around here. Sun shining and all that. Wind's still cold, but uh, it's cold enough that I won't like comfort food off in here this evening. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the little piggy egg thing. That was fun, uh, showing that silly thing. But, anyway, I'm fixing to work on this, and it's going to be a, a casserole dish, y'all. And it's a it's a cheesy chicken broccoli um, pasta bake thing, okay? And really, I'm just doing this with stuff that I, like I'm always doing the Tally Faye way, right? I'm doing it with stuff I have in my pantry and in my refrigerator. So the first thing I want to do, y'all, is boil up, get my noodles, my pasta boil. And really and truly, for this dish, I think these are the best. It's the spiral ones, y'all. Those spiral ones, and that they hold that sauce all in them real good, right? You know, that's what's good about them. So, I've got a 16-ounce bag of them here, y'all. But, oh, did I have that upside down? Yeah, this is a 16-ounce bag, and, and I love the H-E-B pastas. They are, they're good, y'all. I get them all the time. Um, I don't think I need this whole thing for Buzz and I. But if you're making this recipe, you would want for your family, for a 9 by 13 dish. I'm still going to do it in a 9 by 13 probably. But uh, anyway, I'm just saying that you probably want to do this whole bag if you're doing it for a family. But um, I'll see. Let me dump it in here. I've got my water boiling. This is the first thing you want to do is get this pasta boiled and out of the way, okay? Oh, let me just cut it open before I have a tally fade disaster, y'all. Right? We know I could do that easily. So I'm just going to cut it open. All right, let me see here. Yeah, y'all, I'm not, I, I'm leaving about a quarter of that bag for Buzz, for just Buzz and I, right? Let me get this put up. Y'all like my food clips I have on my stuff all the time? They're the best ones. They work for anything. Okay. We're going to get this stirred up. Get it to, uh, get it tender. You want to do it kind of al dente, okay? So that's the first thing I'm going to do is get these uh, noodles all boiled. And we'll come back and I'll take you on the rest of it. We'll get it done. Let's get this done first. All right. So now I'm getting my skillet hot because... I went ahead and took my, I took my pasta up, see, and I got it in this strainer, and I just rinsed it off real good with cold water to stop the cooking process, and just set it back down in that pot where it can just sit there and drain in it. So I'm going to set this to the side, right? Just set it off to the side, out of the way. So now my skillet is getting hot. The next thing I want to do, y'all, is I just need me just a little splash. I don't want too much. There we go. We're going to call that a splash. A splash of oil in here, okay? We're going to let that be getting hot. And what I did was I have in this bowl, I took me some boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I just cut it up in little, almost kind of like a fajita cuts, if that gives you kind of an idea. So just cut it up kind of sort of in some strips like, okay? And this is about two and a half to three of these breasts. And what I did was this is my, I get these at the at the H-E-B, of course. Y'all know I do that. But there was, uh, this was 2.40 oh, pounds in there. And it was $11 and some change, right at 12 bucks. But 12 bucks, well, I was able to split this in half, y'all, for Buzz and I. So if you were feeding your family for $12, you would have some delicious, beautiful chicken breast meat. So, you know, you do that however you want on it. Uh, uh, there's no measurements. Again, y'all know Talifai just don't do measuring, y'all. But I'm just telling you, you can, you know, you can do the amount I'm doing here, or you can even, you know, basically double it almost. So we're going to get our chicken meat going in here. Let me wash that off.
Okay, so we got our chicken meat going in here. What I want to do is go ahead and season it up. So I got me some black pepper. Lots of black pepper in here. You want to season your meat up really good. Okay, do that. Let me turn that down just a little bit to medium there. Um, get some salt on it. Get our meat salted. Okay, and I want to put me some garlic powder. Garlic powder now on there. Season it up. There we go. That ought to be good. So we got garlic powder, salt, and pepper on there. Now we're just going to take it, toss it around in here good. And you just want to brown this meat pretty. And like I say, you know, for your family, you know, you're going to need more meat than this. So just do that pack of it. That left Buzz and I two of them big old huge breasts for a whole nother meal. Make plenty for us. But I wanted to cut that up and do it just like this. So, you know, for Buzz and I, this is six bucks. You pay that for a cheeseburger out somewhere, right? Okay. We're going to let this get brown. And when we come back, I have... I just cut me up just a little bit, just because I want some. You don't have to put this in there, but I got me some little bit of onion chopped up, probably about a quarter of an onion, a medium onion, and then just a few little bites of a red bell pepper in there. When I get this chicken meat browned to the uh, depth that I want, I'm going to dump this pepper and onion in there and let it kind of get browned in there with that chicken meat, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, see it's starting to get some brown edges and stuff on it there. So I'm going to go ahead now and put my onions and peppers in there. While that's browning, we'll get our onions and peppers going. Stir them up in there a little bit. Look at that. Y'all know that's got some flavor punch already, right? Gonna be good, y'all. Gonna be so good. Sit down in here with a big old plate of it tonight. And you know, if this is something that you don't, you know, if you, your kids won't eat the onions and peppers, you don't have to put them in there. Seriously. I just love them in there for all the added flavor. So, you know, if you got kids that'll eat them good old onions and peppers with it, well, put them in there. If you got them. So, we got to let these brown, let this finish up browning a little bit all right i've got it to where i want it see everything's nice and browned in there so i'm going to take it and just turn it off and now what i'm going to do i went ahead and dumped my drained noodles back in this pot okay so i'm going to take them and take them up take my meat up and just toss it in with these noodles with these cooked noodles. Just like that. My meat and my onions and peppers. Get that all in here. I'm having a hard time with my stove area. I'm trying to show y'all everything. Let me get it over here. Okay, that's good enough for that. Now, I'll get this out of my way. Uh-oh, here's a pepper. Uh-uh, I'm going to put him in there. Bam. Okay. Now, so see, I've got my, my uh, meat, peppers, onions, and my pasta all in here now. Okay? Now, the next thing I want to do, y'all, is I have... My frozen broccoli that Buzz and I that Buzz and I put up this year. Okay, well, last year actually December. Um, so I'm gonna get out of here just however many florets I want. So what I do is I'll take it and see, and it's frozen, y'all. 
So, but it's been blanched, just like you get from the store. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna toss in there however many I want. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stir it around in there and kind of look at it. And see, that's probably about half of this quart bag, if that gives you kind of a general idea on it. Well, see, if you get you some from the store, you'll want you about, you know, for a big family pan of it, you'll want you about a, a quart, quart size bag of it, of your broccoli florets. Y'all look at that. Look, don't y'all know that's gonna be good? Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit there because we gotta do our cheese now. So I'm gonna get me a good pot here, let me see. This one here, my old pudding pot, y'all. I'm gonna use my pudding pot. What I got me here is a can of cream of chicken soup. All right? I'll do that first. Get me a can of cream of chicken soup going off in here. All right, there we go. Set that to the side. Now, I've got me an eight ounce block of cream cheese here, but I don't think I want, I'm gonna use the whole thing. I may, I may not. Let's see what I do. I'm gonna cut it off in chunks here so that it will uh, melt down easier. I'm gonna start off with about maybe a little over half of this thing. Yeah, about like that. Leave about a quarter of it. So about three quarters of this block. That's where I'm starting with. I may put it in there. All right, there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire on. And I've got me a bag of mozzarella cheese here, y'all. Shredded mozzarella. I want me about a cup in here is what I want. So let's see what that is. I think that's about a cup. That ought to be good. Now. I've got me a splash of milk in this jug. And I'm just going to add me... I'm gonna add that splash. How's that? Uh-oh. I missed the target. Okay, so we've got us some cream cheese in here, some mo shredded mozzarella, uh, some cream chicken soup, a little bit of milk to help thin it down, and I'm gonna shake me. If I had some fresh Parmesan, I'd use that, but I don't, so I'm gonna use my shaker. That's just fine with me. Add me some shaker parm in there. Okay. There we go. Now, let me get a spoon. Tell you what, I may want to use my whip. Because I want to get this. i got to turn my fire down. I want to get this good and creamy, okay? So I'm going to stand here and stir this around and get it all creamy. And we'll see. Oh, Lordy. We'll see if I want to add any more milk to it or maybe just some water even, right? Or if I want some more cream cheese because I'm going to taste of it and see. But let me get it all creamed up real good, melted together and stirred together real good, and uh, we'll taste of it and see. Okay, now see, it's melting down. But see how thick that is? I want it thinner than that. I want to be able to almost pour this over our stuff, y'all. So what I decided, rather than getting my whole milk out of there, I got me a can of my evaporated milk. And that's what I'm going to use to make it thinner. And that'll make it even richer, right? So that's what I'm going to use to thin it down with till I get it as, just as thin as I want it. Like that, okay? All right. I'm going to get me a little taster spoon here because I already know I want it thinner than this even. But let me taste of it. See if I want more or something, something. Mm, mm, mm. That don't need nothing, nothing but eating, y'all. But look how much I'm putting in here. I want this thin. Like I say, I want to be able to pour it over my chicken meat and pasta and broccoli. 
Oh yeah, see now we're getting it thin to where I want it like that. You just gotta keep playing with it, you know. Get it where you can pour it. That's the best way I can say it, right? Just, you want it pourable. So just add you a little bit at a time and keep adding it to it, stirring it in. So you don't even have to use that splash of whole milk that I did from the beginning. Just get you a can of Evap and start pouring it in there. And that'll work just fine. See, look, that's how I want it. Look at it. See, now it's kind of off that spoon good. I've got my oven preheating to 350, y'all. Getting that ready, all right? Okay. Now, I'm going to get my mess cleaned up here so I can set my pan over here and show y'all how I'm going to do it from there. While this is still, I've got it on low, low right now. All right, I've got that cheese sauce where I want it, y'all. That's good stuff right there. I'm going to turn it off. And now, I'm using a 9 by 13, right? Which is what you're going to use. But this one just happens to be these, these uh, corn flour ones that I have. They're a little bit more shallow, so it makes it a little bit smaller space. So it's going to work out perfect for this amount that I'm making for Buzz and I. But if, like, you're making more of it, you know, um, you, want one, you want a bigger, deeper, uh, nice... 9 by 13, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and take my vegetables here and my meat and pasta and all that and just dump it right in here. Ooh-wee, that looks good. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Now, we're going to take this and get it all evened out. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this. This just looks divine. This is going to be so good tonight. I already want some. I could probably eat on it like this without even sauce. Look. Look how it looks like that. Doesn't that look good? Okay, I got it sitting right here. Now I'm going to take my sauce. I'm going to pour every bit of it all over it. Let me get over here where I can, hopefully y'all can see Let's just pour it all over it. Cream of chicken, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, and evaporated milk. That's what's in here. You just put all that cheese stuff in your pot and then just start adding your milk to it and stirring it. That's all you're doing. You ain't got to measure that. By no means do you have to measure that. Now, let me put it over here. Closer to you see a little bit better. I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of do it like this where it... I want it getting down in there some, right? Getting up in all them noodles I was talking about in all them little spirals. Okay? Now... Got that where I want it. Everything is done in here, y'all. We're gonna, we want this to go in the oven until it gets to bubbling good and kind of browning in some places on the top, right? That's what you're looking for with it. But I ain't through yet, y'all. Let me show you the last thing I like to do. Okay, there we go. There it is, I got it mixed in nicely. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to take me, um, where's my, oh, here it is. I'm going to take me a little bit more of my, my mozzarella, and I'm going to sprinkle it across the top of it, just like this, okay? Reckon you can put it on there however much you want. But I'm going to cover it just nicely. I call it nicely. You know, it's not heavy. It's not light. It's nicely covered with that. And we're going to get some more of our parm shaker cheese. And we're going to shake some of that on there. Okay. Do it like that. 
And now I got me some uh, fresh parsley. I'm gonna try to, let me see if I can do this with my hands here. I should have done had it chopped up, y'all. I want it chopped. I'll just do it here with my scissors and try to get me some little pieces that I can sprinkle here and there with it. If you don't have this, the dried parsley is absolutely perfect for it, okay? Just I have this fresh and oh my goodness, y'all. Can y'all smell it while I'm cutting it right now? Do y'all know what that smells like when you're chopping up these fresh herbs? Oh, they just smell so good. Look, I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, let's see what I got here. Kind of, sort of like that there, huh? What you think? I think it's going to be good. Okay. We are oven ready. Oven ready. I got it sitting on my cookie sheet. I'm going to get it in the oven and put it in there uncovered. And we want to wait till it starts bubbling and kind of browning on the top a little bit. It's going to be good, y'all. All right, so I've had it in there about 30, 35 minutes maybe. But anyway, for 30 minutes for sure. And I think that's long enough. It's just starting to bubble, and uh, I don't want to dry it out or nothing, right? So I'm just going to get it out of here. Boy, it sure smells good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Coming out of there looking good. Let me get my oven closed. All right, let me see if I can show it y'all up close in the dish. There it is. Look at it. Can you tell it? I figured I'd get us some out of here before I finish so I can finish the video on up and let y'all see the finished product of it. Let me get it here. About right in there, I reckon. We're just going to dig down in here. Just like that, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Dig it straight on out of there. Just pile it up on there. We're going to take this and eat it up with, uh, look, what y'all think? We're going to eat that with some garlic bread and a big old fresh salad out of the garden. So, I don't know if I can take a bite of it or not, y'all. Y'all know that's hot. I just want you to see how pretty it looks, though. Look at it with all that, all that in there. And like I say, this is really not, you know, a lot of measurements on it. You know, it's not. Ooh, y'all. Mm -mm. Be smoking. <laughs> if I want to take one bite at least, I want to take a bite of the broccoli. That's going to be delicious, y'all. I can't wait to eat that tonight. Y'all, this is some good comfy food right here. I'm telling you. It's easy to make. And you can feed a, make a big dish of it. Like I say, you know, go ahead and use that whole pack of your, uh, 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 uh your pasta. And, you know, on the sauce, if you want to make more, you know, Use your whole block of cream cheese. You can still use just one can of your cream of chicken, but use your whole block of cream cheese. And, you know, make it be a big cup of your mozzarella in there. And uh, uh, add, you know, extra parm in there to it or whatever. And then, like I say, your evaporated milk, just keep adding it. I didn't use that whole can in just this, in just this size recipe. So, you know, just keep adding your evaporated milk, stirring it in your cheese and stuff. So, really... 
you know, it's it's not that much measuring. You just eyeball it and stuff, but man, oh man alone, we'll show you one more time. There it is. There it is. It's a cheesy chicken and broccoli casserole done with the pasta in it. The, and I again, I say, if you have them, the spiral ones are the best because they hold all that sauce. But if you ain't got them, you use what you got in there. I got all kind of different pasta thingies in there. If I didn't have this, I'd use something else. So don't be scared. Y'all try this recipe. It's a very satisfying flavor. The flavors are delicious. Just think of it with some garlic bread. Good old garlic bread with it. And that salad all fresh on the side. Woo! We're going to eat good tonight, y'all. <laughs> I love you guys. Y'all have a great Sunday evening. Finish resting up. Get ready for the work week tomorrow. And listen, y'all stay blessed this coming week. Pray for each other. Stay happy. And uh, just be careful out there. And uh, know that God loves you. And know that I love you. And I appreciate everything, y'all. I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.